Hi YouTubers, welcome to my channel Tech World. Today I'm out at the National Harbor in Maryland doing some vlogging to show you guys what the National Harbor looks like right now during the COVID-19 restrictions. Usually on a typical uh, June month, uh, this harbor will be packed. You can see, you guys can see right now the walkway to the Ferris wheel, uh, co also called the Capitol Ferris. This is completely empty and closed. This is typically where you would go and get your tickets uh, to get on the Ferris wheel. Um, just point the camera inside. Uh, you guys can see this is the Capitol Ferris wheel. Um, once you're on this Ferris wheel, you'll be able to see Washington DC um, and the iconic Capitol Hill and White House. And you'll also be able to see the um, Virginia, which is the neighboring state uh, next to Maryland. Uh, the National Harbor is an iconic area because it's considered a junction between um, Virginia, Maryland, and DC, also called the DMV, uh, District of Columbia, uh, Maryland, and Virginia. Um, so right now at the National Harbor, this is the Marine. You have um, private yachts on the um, on the harbor here, where folks can usually come take a boat ride over to um, Virginia, actually, which is right across there. So if you guys can see the land over there is Virginia. This is Maryland. Uh, DC is uh, going to be overlooking that side here, the south side. Um, so you have uh, the beautiful calm waters. Um, there's tons of private yacht here. Um, I mean, if you guys own a yacht, this would be a nice place to dock your yacht. Uh, gives you a lot of access to all the states close by. Um, all right over there, you all guys I could see in the distance, that is the Gaylord National Hotel. And that's the Western Hotel overlooking the harbor. Um, and then you'll see a couple of other um, front, uh, harbor front properties for um, vacationing. So if you're planning to come to uh, Maryland, this will be a nice place to stay. Uh, you get a nice scenery in the night and afternoon. Typically in the night, there's a beautiful light that goes on the Ferris wheel. So it lights up the United States of America color. Um, or if there's any symbolic occasion, the Ferris wheel will have the light in. I'm gonna walk around um, to show you guys other iconic um, areas in the National Harbor. Uh, so stay tuned and I will show you a couple more great features. All right, so you guys can see right in front of the uh, waterfront here, there's uh, some beach sand uh, where usually um, on a typical summer, you can you will have folks uh, picnicking out here. Here's the waterfront, and then there's a giant statue buried in the stand, which is symbolic of uh, grace and symbolic of fun. And there's the big sign here of the National Harbor. Uh, during the typical season, this will be packed with folks and kids running around in giant the summer. Um, and right now, it's just empty with no one there. Um, the harbor is starting to open up. You can see some folks trickling in um, to get some whatever is left of the summer to enjoy it. Here's a wide view of the Ferris wheel. So you walk down and you get to the capital uh, Ferris wheel. And then over there is where we're going to go next. I'm going to show you guys um, the ramp there where you can get these um, rental boats to go on the Potomac River. And then you can just, um, you know, use the boats around the Potomac River to get a nice afternoon on the harbor. All right, so we have a closed stand here of Ben & Jerry's. This is usually where you will get your ice creams in the afternoon, in a hot summer afternoon. Look at some delicacy. The Ben & Jerry's stand is usually vibrant and packed. Um, then you have little ducks there taking a nice morning shower and swim. And then over there in the far distance, you'll see a replica of Air Force One for the United States, United States of America. So I'll head over there and give you guys a closer look of what that replica looks like. Um, and uh, we'll, you know, we'll enjoy the beautiful uh, design of the Air Force One. There's a restaurant here called Redstone. If you guys are looking for uh, great food, this is a fantastic restaurant. You can get a lot of seafood, shrimp, um, and oysters if that is something you're interested in. Um, but uh, as I said, you see a lot more people coming to the harbor than it was before. Um, but typically, this is an iconic summer um, location in National Harbor, and this usually is packed. So it's pretty um, sad to see um, what this virus has done 
to the National Harbor and all these local businesses around here. Here's some more restaurants. You have Pot Belly, Mez. Uh, it's a really fantastic restaurant. You can hear the over there. And then there's this balcony here that overlooks the waterfront. And then you have the American Eagle um, as a symbolic gesture of patriotism at the National Harbor. And then you have a few other restaurants down this long stretch of, um, of sidewalk. So that's a fantastic place to come get some nice food and enjoy the sun. Right now it's slightly overcast. Um, but it's a nice place to bring your kids and enjoy the sun and get a nice summer. Um, enjoy the summer. Almost towards the end of the uh, docking station here for all the larger boats um, and it's quite a long walk uh, I must say uh, almost uh, 500 um, meters you never know I mean it's quite a long walk um, look back you can see in the distance how far it is recommend take a bicycle or a, a scooter or a one wheel uh, if you're looking to um, save some exercise by walking out here but um, yeah, this is um, this is how far it is. The rain is slightly coming down a little bit, so I won't be spending too long on the edge of the um, ramp. But I wanted to come out here to give you guys a larger view. All right, so over here uh, towards the end of the um, journey here on the National Harbor, I uh, wanted to point out that there's a bunch of spirit cruises that you guys can take here when you visit the National Harbor. As a lot of these, um, uh, fun um, I guess uh, boats that you can take on to the, um, the, the Potomac River and self paddle so self generated um, uh, on the on the Potomac River and then over here we have some small uh, kayak uh, boat that you can take if you're an expert at that do require a little bit of training uh, so I wouldn't recommend anyone taking it if they're not comfortable or confident using it but there's um, some small one boats that you can rent to take out on the Potomac River. Um, there you can see, just want to point out in the far distance, that's a plane that's taken out from Dallas Airport. Um, and it is just right over there, you'll find Dallas Airport. That's the, um, the bridge over in the far back that takes you over to Virginia. You can see there. Um, Pretty long bridge, the drawbridge that takes you over to Virginia, and that's the front um, waterfront of Virginia. 
the rain has seemed to stop now um, so I'm gonna keep walking around and vlogging some of the activities and restaurants that uh, are located here in the harbor so please stay tuned all right folks so I'm here on the balcony overlooking the National Harbor and I just want to point out some of the major um, attraction over here so over here you'll see um, a, a picture of the globe that is actually um, painted on the actual um, concrete which is fantastic it does show the Capitol Hill White House Lincoln Memorial um, the National Mall it's pretty much an entire geographical display of Washington DC um, and then you will see Virginia and Maryland so the tri-state all um, pretty much displayed on this globe as you walk forward uh, what I find is pretty um, fantastic is you'll see Washington DC um, and across the trail then you'll see all the major monuments that is located in Washington DC here's the National Harbor and this is all painted uh, decorated on the actual um, pavers or the concrete walkway where you would walk and, 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 and tour so that's pretty interesting over here you'll see um, our military guards that uh, the National Harbor is dedicated towards uh, these are our Marines our military uh, National Guard um, who serve our sailors who serve to protect the United States of America in war um, and then you'll see some replica of them saluted so this is the US Coast Guard over here and then the US Air Force and then we have the US military and that's the uniform and over here we have the US Marine and then we have the US um, Navy uh, some more local restaurants on the um, side over there and over here you'll see some more iconic um, statues to represent um, the National Harbor and the national pride of the United States of America. Fourth of July is coming up soon and this place might be packed. I hopefully um, restrictions are lifted a little bit so we can get some more people to come out and um, celebrate the independence of the United States on Fourth of July. Uh, this walkway here is called the American Way and over here you'll see some more statues in the walkway Here is American Way George Washington first president of the United States of America And there he is striking a pose over here. I think you guys can figure who this is This is American Way visionary Abraham Lincoln um, and There's a whole plaque here. It's not like Hollywood uh, He was the 16th president of the United States of America and that's a replica of the uh, president and over here you will have Frederick Douglass um, he is abolishes abolishes an operator written of statesman um, so not familiar with his history but there's a replica of him here that is his uh, plaque and there you can see him walking around with books and sort of like a professor and I'm guessing that's, that was primarily his role. As we walk forward on the American Way, uh, sort of like Hollywood Boulevard, um, I would say, uh, you will see some more iconic figures that has replica um, with them. There's some restaurants on the side. Um, I've seen this layout in Miami, uh, South Beach, but this is the uh, Maryland State um, replica of something like that. Over here we have Henry Ford and this is a replica of him. Pretty interesting artwork. Uh, it's like hollow inside and then it's almost like um, him folding his hands with a bunch of um, I guess electronic mechanical um, design inside. And then I think that's more looking like a, a clock and an engine uh, to design what he did for America so as we walk forward what we will see um, there's a store here that sells um, America um, iconic figurines um, and over here there's a candy store uh, if you have kids you bring them over here uh, you get all different candies that uh, will uh, definitely uh, enjoy and over there is a pepper palace one of the iconic um, 
I guess, item in Washington DC is mamba sauce. And over there you will get some great mamba sauce um, from Pepper Palace. As we walk forward, um, you will see some more iconic figurines. Uh, over here, we will see a replica of Winston Churchill. So you can see the iconic figure of him um, lifting his hat as a salute. And that is his plaque on the bottom. Winston Churchill, 1874 to 85, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom during World War II. Over here we have um, Franklin Roosevelt. So he's sitting in a wheelchair. Um, and that is his plaque. 32nd President of the United States from 1882 to 1945. So that is Franklin Roosevelt. Um, and over here, it's quite interesting. It's a cultural icon for women in World War II, and that is Rosie the Riptor. Uh, you can see her showing off her muscles, and then over here, you'll see her work uh, gear. So she has her gloves, and then um, some sort of uh, equipment there that she would use to uh, work and back then in the 1940s woman uh, was now getting introduced to the workforce and she was an iconic figure um, in the um, in woman being able to work as we walk forward um, there's a water fountain over here that you will see typically in the winter this is uh, lit up and in the night you get uh, this up lighting uh, to draw att attraction um, and over there there's a kids play zone and who do we have here so over here we have Dwight Eisenhower um, a military um, outfit and he is the 34th president of the United States so you can see him uh, saluting in his all commander outfit and there is his plaque at the bottom Sir Eisenhower and then we have some more stores on the on both sides of the um, outlets for National Harbor. Uh, there's a bank over here, and then there's some. Um, this is a beautiful restaurant. Um, planning to go there later on, so it's called the Pavilion. Has some iconic uh, Thai food and Thai um, architectural design. You can see the wall has a picture of Buddha, and there's some elephants on the outside. Uh, we're gonna see if they're open and maybe have lunch there. So as we walk forward, uh, what do we see here? So this is a kids play area, it's currently closed, uh, but there's a, a pig, and a lion, and pit bull, and frog, and beer that the kids can hop on and play and have fun. Um, so uh, while you guys are shopping on the stores, you can leave your kids here. I uh, probably don't recommend that, but you can leave your kids here so they could play. There's a ladybug, um, and they could interact with each other kids and have fun while um, hopefully in, engage in social distancing. Uh, walking further towards the uh, end of the journey here on the National Harbor. The rain seems to be coming down a little bit more. Um, so everyone is taking shelter. But that's the weird weather we have today. It's a little bit of rain and it's sunny and then it's raining. All the challenges you deal with as a um, tourist. So over there we have a iconic meat seafood which is gourmet and then there's a statue of a I gotta see who it looks like I think it's Hillary Clinton um, with her grocery but we'll take a closer look and see who that is all right I'm gonna venture off in the rain while everyone is taking shelter um, so I could get a closer look of all the statues you'll find at the National Harbor. So over here we have Louis Armstrong. This is a jazz mu musician and uh, to represent him, um, he is there with the statue playing the trumpet, I believe. Um, and that is his card that you will find here at the National Harbor. So you guys can see all the way down this uh, walkway is all iconic figures in the United States of America who have changed the way um, our, we live and our culture. So let's walk over here. I know it's raining, but let's walk over here and see who this person is. Um, that is, uh, I'm curious. 
I want to know. Got to investigate. Uh, so this is someone here. First, when I look at it, I thought it wasn't a real person. Uh, well, it isn't a real person, but it was very convincing the way it's um, decorated. So inside your grocery bag, you'll find groceries of all sorts. And then you'll see the plaque here. So this is George Johnson. Um, so I'm not sure who she is. I'll look that up. But that is her with her grocery right outside the grocery store. Um, Tabot um, at the National Harbor. There's a few more figures there, but the rain is coming out a little hard, so I'm gonna take a little shelter and then I'll turn it on back when the rain um, stops a little bit. As you can see, the rain is just absolutely pouring down right now. Um, you can see the water there on the um, sidewalk. Uh, so it's really hampering my uh, experience here vlogging but I'm gonna cut to when I see the iconic fig figures over there which is Marilyn Monroe we're gonna get a closer look as soon as this rain sees uh, sees up a little bit see everyone's taking shelter uh, it's just absolutely pouring down right now all right so the rain has stopped a little bit uh, I was able to get away from um, over there from being trapped over there. So over here we have the iconic uh, Marilyn Monroe Forever Marilyn um, That is her class here And then you will see Marilyn Monroe in a very exotic pose um, But then I think it's the iconic um, Photo of Marilyn Monroe with the water with the air blowing her skirt up and that is also here at the National Harbor over there you'll see um, like a Navy soldier coming back from the military with his um, not sure if it's his girlfriend or fiance um, but he's there uh, hugging her after not seeing her for a very long time by the way I totally made up that story but that is what it looks like to me um, now if I'll get a closer look so you have the Navy and then his girlfriend he brought her some flowers and that's them standing on the sidewalk having a very private moment and then across you'll see Mary Mon Monroe in her very provocative pose uh, the rain is still pouring down so I'm gonna take a little bit more shelter um, to get away from this rain before I completely get soaked 